FM sounds can be divided into three different categories and those categories are determined by the ratios of the frequencies between the carrier and the modulating oscillator. The simplest or the first category is what I call category one or family one and that's when both the uh, modulator and the carrier have the same frequency so the ratio is one to one that can sound a bit like this now on the old Yamaha FM synthesizers like the DX7 they had feedback so that you could have the oscillator modulating itself and this is a special type of family one sound and it was very useful for brass sounds and violin type sounds unfortunately the EFM1 doesn't have this feature but we can still make interesting sounds like let's make this decay So it's kind of like a vaguely brass like sound and like a piano sort of sound. Notice that I always control the amount of modulation with the FM depth. I don't use this control at all. I just don't find it useful. I, so I have this set at zero and I always control the depth between zero and the positive maximum. Another type of family is family two and that's when we have simple ratios between the two oscillators. For example, two to one. Sounds a bit more like a square wave. Or three to one. Sounds vaguely like a jazz guitar. Or four to one. have it so that we keep our modulator on one and we can change the carrier kind of a bit vocal in character and the other sort of sound is when we have family three sounds where the uh, complex ratios between the modulator and the carrier like one point something or other <laughs> And we start to get these clangy effects. Gongs and bell sounds. Let's make it. So you can get all sorts of cl clangy sounds, including vibraphone type sounds, marimba sounds, things like that. 
let's go back to one to one. There's another possibility. So far everything has been done with sine waves. We've just been using sine waves here. But if we were to have our one-to-one -one ratio like that with sine waves, we can actually change some of the waveforms of the modulator and that will generate a different set of sidebands. can still be changed to different frequencies. So with trial and error you can get a lot of different sorts of sounds.